Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. What up, everybody? It is Monday night. Time for the Ben Herrera Show podcast. So, oh, and we have Tracy. What up, Tracy? Thanks for joining our show tonight. Malik can't join us today because he's got some things going on. So, nothing bad, but he'll be back. So, <clears throat> tonight, I'll, before we get to the program, um, I want to thank uh, Malik and the end uh, for allowing me to film the Juneteenth uh, play today at Holland Community Theater. That was really fun. It was cool. They did a great job. I'll post the video soon as soon as I'm done editing uh, the video. And it's a good holiday to start celebrating. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it uh, has a very rich history, um, stuff that we never knew growing up. Growing up because, I, you know, they didn't teach us any of that. But um, definitely a um, good uh, show. I mean, a uh, show. A uh, holiday to definitely pay attention to. And it's growing here in the Holland area. So that's pretty cool. Of course, why is that? How is that not muted? Thanks. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, it's it's a great, great uh, uh, holiday. Uh, it's great that they, the reason why they're celebrating it. But it's sad of how it, you know, became about, became. you know. But um, definitely a very good show today at the Holland Civic Theater, our community theater. Um, and again, I will post the video on YouTube once, you know, it's done. I'm done editing. I already got it started. So um, hopefully I can have it done by the end of the week, which I should because that's how I am. <laughs> So, again, a good uh, shout out also to I Am Academy for putting on the uh, Juneteenth celebration and hosting the events. Uh, Henry Cherry, uh, thank you for that. Um, also, again, to Malik and the end uh, uh, Yabaro for, you know, allowing us to film this uh, play. So, again, Malik will be back uh, probably at the end of the week. And uh, we'll see where it goes. So, now, on to the show. So, we're going to be talking about what are your plans for the summer. Uh, we're going to California to visit some friends of ours. Can I say that? We're planning on going to California. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can repeat it if you want. I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. We're going to California August 13th. We'll be back on the 22nd. My husband's been there and lived there, but our son and I have not been there yet. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun because we got some good friends that live over there. Uh, uh, so we definitely will have some fun there. Uh, they're really cool people. They're very fun to hang out with. Nice. I have my moments. <laughs> but, yeah. So, we're going to be going to California. Not going to say when. Nope. Because we don't want people to know when we're not home. <laughs> so, but yeah. We'll we'll go there. I mean, there will be people here. But, I'm not going to. Anyway. I probably already said it anyways. But, uh, so, what are your plans for, you know, the summer? I mean... What's the just... thing you want to do before school comes back? Yeah, exactly. Because summer... Oh, we got an empty chair over there with my shirt on it. What the <laughs> freak? Oh, <clears throat> one more shout out I want to do. Uh, is to Johnny Hines, who also has a studio here in, in Holland. Uh, we're going to collaborate on some stuff later on. Details coming soon. Uh, so want to thank thank him for for giving a shout on his show uh, or on his uh, live. Uh, so you know we'll, we'll we'll get together. We'll plan something out. But uh, 
yeah so what are your plans for the summer guys what i mean what's up what's going on let us know leave a comment on the the um comment section and uh we'll go from there so what i really want to do when we get to california yeah obviously we're going to go to hollywood um but i do want to show you guys you know some uh sites you know like the wax museum and stuff like that but what i really want to do is go to the hotel that was on ghost adventures um hotel um i always forget the name of it hotel S i'm dumb the beach <laughs> i was just looking at it too online actually. The, the beach we're gonna check out is called pismo yeah of course uh hotel C cecil cecil what city are we gonna be in uh i just that's the name of the town Pismo? yeah oh, hotel yeah. it's called stay on main hotel now but it used to be called hotel cecil cecil no i didn't know that i thought pismo beach is where we were going to go to but that's where we'd be at <laughs> no pismo beach is the name of the town or it's pismo but the beach, you know, it's right by the beach. So the okay, people say Bismo. Yeah. Bismo. 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 <laughs> Every time I hear that. But um yeah, so uh that's where we'll be for pretty much most of the time we're there. But you know, we'll we'll go check some sites. You know, see what we can do. Your friends can drive us around to those places. I mean I I know some spots over there, but not all of it. I mean, I know where Fresno and Hanford is, but I mean, I drove around there several times, but I, I've only been to Pismo once, maybe twice. Yeah. Uh, hey, who oh, heard it? Thanks for the heart. Thanks for uh, the heart. But um, it sometimes shows, but then sometimes, I don't Who's that? Who is this? Oh, it's Adrian. <laughs> I couldn't see the picture right there. That's Adrian. What did you say? Uh, okay. You will get it tonight? I'll get it. I have no idea. What, what is she talking Oh, I know what it was. The cash. The money. Let's go ahead and X these off so I'm not confusing myself. Anyway. <clears throat> so. What do you... So since you've never been to california what do you i mean what are you expecting what are you what are you excited about i look forward to because i've been to florida and i know florida they have palm trees yeah so california has palm trees. trees of course they do yeah. okay. uh the um, um apartments not, that i used to live in had palm trees i'm not looking forward to any earthquakes if we happen to have <laughs> while we're there. i've only felt one the whole entire year, six years that i lived there Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying none of them happened, but. Oh, yeah, no problem, man. Thanks. Thank yes, you exactly. Know. Thanks. Um, I'm editing the um, the video now, so I got it on, on my editing. Thanks for having us there, Moody. Yeah, it was cool. It was really fun to be there. You, you guys uh, did a great job. Yes. Again, great show. Great. Um, what's the word? Um, can't think of the word. Meaning behind it. Yeah, for, uh, for teaching us info. the truth. Yeah. That's an, see, and that's the truth that not everybody knows. Not very many people know about that. And to celebrate uh, Juneteenth is a big step in the right direction uh, for most people that don't even know this, anything about it. So it's a good thing. It's a good, it's a good thing for so many things, so, so many ways. Uh, for one, obviously, now it's a federal holiday. Uh, <clears throat> for June, Juneteenth is a federal holiday, federal holiday yep. uh, which, you know, should have happened a long time ago, but, um, at least it's now, yeah, at least it's finally happened, so definitely, um, you guys did a great job, uh, awesome job, awesome set, set up, everything about it, That's right. um, and for they made it look easy to remember what they were going to say for the show. I know you guys did see, and that's the thing too. Is like, 
<clears throat> growing up, I thought, oh, I want to be an actor. And I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going to remember any of my lines. <laughs> and then you guys knew your lines. It's like, it was, yeah, it's right? like you guys didn't skip a beat or nothing. I mean, there's been, there was a couple of times where I can tell, like, you know, but I know the, it wasn't the too one bad. lady, she was going to laugh, but she tried not to laugh. Oh, when the broom fell mm -hmm. or whatever that was. It was, yeah. I mean, that was good. A good, um, quick response. Um, so that was pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I think it was a great show. Great show. And um, we'll see another one next year. So, so again, um, what are your plans? I mean, it's it's summer, guys. You know, we got it's. I mean, unfortunately, we're already halfway through June. Um, but then again, summer can go all the way to December if we wanted to. <laughs> If yeah, that'll never happen. Being here. snow in the summertime, mm -hmm. or say Christmas in July. I've heard that before. Yeah, exactly. Christmas. You know what? Let's just do that. Christmas in July, summer in December. No. You know, never mind. Let's not do that. No, let's Cause... get a house if we could. I'm saying it. this is our home here in Holland, and then get a house in Florida or California, and have that be our. I wish. <laughs> that would be nice. People do that. It would probably be California. It'll be our summer home. I don't know why, but it's just because I do this. I I like film, movies, and that's where it started, you know. So why not? Why not live over where, it's, you know, where you get noticed more? I mean, I I do the I do the podcast for many reasons. No yawning on the show, babe, unless <laughs> unless you're on camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to say something that okay. happened to Tracy earlier. Oh, <laughs> Second chair. <laughs> chair number two. Yeah. So we're at the play, and uh, Tracy, I tell Trick because there's we're on the second to the last row, and Tri the, I'm sitting in the, what was that? Oh, I was on the far end. And I tell Tracy, we'll just, you know, step over and get on the back the last row yeah, just... and uh she tripped and <laughs> made a loud freaking noise knocked the chair over her shoe falls off <laughs> <laughs> all while the play's going on and i'm literally like oh my god did she seriously just do that <laughs> and then she's talking loud <laughs> i don't know i don't think they heard her they're probably not even paying attention to it <laughs> But uh, we were way in the back, so we were way in the back, yeah. But um, it was funny because I'm sitting there, like, of course, you would do that. <laughs> you acting like I claimed it, but I didn't. You might as well have because it happened again. She didn't fall all the way down, but the no. chair fell. What <laughs> I just remember you trying to catch yourself, <laughs> but um, yeah, so. That happened, um, the, but we when we go to California, um, I just I, I I want them to have that experience to be able to say, oh yeah, I've been there, and have that memory of, you know, finally saying they were there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go to Hanford or not, <laughs> but uh, we might. We'll see. Um, Definitely, you know, yeah, I want to go check out, you know, other places that I've been and, you know, show, the, you know, the family how, how, how it goes out there in Cali and, uh, you know, how, and what we, you know, is become it a California, huh? uh, Disneyland or Disney World? I think this, I think Disneyland, and I think Disneyland's out there. If Disneyland is California, Disney World is Florida? Yeah. I mean, I'm asking. What? <coughs> oh, my God. People were getting a heart. Okay, mm. okay. Oh, that was cool. Kind of emojis. Emojis, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's I mean, 
California is one of those places where you can have fun. But here's the weird thing. Uh, when Fresno okay, cool. is basically smack in the middle of everything. Um, because to the right, okay, if you're looking at the map. Oh, thank you. Or thank you. What did I say? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh man. I don't, right? <laughs> what did I put it? No. Anyway, uh, so Fresno is like right in the middle, pretty much of California, <clears throat> California. And uh, to the right, if you're looking at a map, is the Sequoia National Park. And Yellowstone is northeast. Um, is that the park you, you showed with me the big red, with big red trees? Mm -hmm. uh, that's about, let's say about an hour maybe to the right. Oh, it would be cool to go check out those. Um, yeah, no, that would be nice to go check. But... Even if we don't, it's fine. We might not have time. We probably won't have enough time. That's pretty much all the way on the other side of California. Oh. So we probably might not be able to do that. But anyway. Like east, west, or north, south? It's east of Fresno. It's right before you get to the uh, Nevada border. Big line. Close to Nevada. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty much on the other side um and then to the left which is west of fresno you can get to obviously the coast um uh, which would be like hearst castle that would be cool to go see oh, hearst, hearst castle hearst like a uh, hearst. hearst hearst castle um that is um a castle near uh it's north of Mor Morro Bay. Um, hold on, let me look at the map. Let me hold it. It is by the town called. Let's look. Let me look. Let me look. Um, <clears throat> Sam Simeon in Cambria. Right here, Hurt Castle. Okay. Hurt Castle. Oh. Um, it's compared to where we'll be at yeah I... so that's what it looks like oh, oh dang. i've been there so many that times beautiful yeah it's pretty cool um i had that's pictures a real of... castle yeah it, well the the way they designed it was the guy owned the newspapers from all over the world uh, the country uh -huh. like he owned the um new york times and all that that video was so high. Oh my gosh, phone, seriously? Don't you hate when your phone goes to... <clears throat> when it auto-corrects? Why, why would it change the word, the word to, like, also? Yeah. To the word top? <laughs> <laughs> That's that's another that's the thing that's that's another thing that grinds my gears from the other day, autocorrect. <laughs> oh, right. But um, anyway, so that's another spot in California that's a good spot is Hearst Castle. Uh, also, um, uh, Morro Bay is a good spot. That's a nice little beach town. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, what is wrong with me today? Uh, Morro Bay is a good spot. Um, see, Pisnoa Beach is right here. Let me see. Wait, so if you're right there, Hearst Castle is way over here somewhere. Right there. Pismo Beach is way down here. What? Like closer to Arizona? 
Oh. No, not that far. Okay. It's not going towards Arizona. It's north towards San Francisco. Okay. It's between um, San Simeon and San Francisco. Okay. Um, but yeah, there is there's a, there's plenty to do. I mean, there's lots to do in California. Yes. Uh, but it's expensive. <laughs> That's one thing that uh, we'll we got to keep track of. We'll probably, you'll probably see some famous people's houses and stuff. Uh, we're going to do what Fresh Prince of Bel Air did. Um, take picture of Jay Leno pouring oil down a drain. <laughs> if anybody's ever seen that episode. But um, it's going to be fun. There's a lot of Californian... Or, when you get there, when we get there, yeah, we are going to buy some shirts that say we're Californians now. Or at least try to find some that says that. And wear it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to wear it the whole time we're there. <laughs> like, we're, we're not tourists. We're not tourists. And we're going to find a nudist camp, and we're going to go there. Just kidding. But, uh, no. <laughs> you just said that you wanted to be a nudist. Yeah, well, oh. <laughs> but um, here it's yeah. gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. I'm glad that we finally are gonna go. Mm. We already got our tickets. They're actually right here. Let me see. What? Don't. No. Uh, I'll be careful. Don't ruin them. Okay. Those are our train tickets. By the way, we're taking a train all the way over there. Round. Uh, okay. we're, we're gonna leave Holland, oh. then stop in Chicago, then go to from Chicago, and I oh, think it it's straight depart. shot. Up. We huh? depart at six forty nine. Right. If it's on time. Arrives nine oh eight six seven. Yeah, so we can't Chicago. be late. Has anybody ever taken a train cross country? I have. It's boring when you're by yourself. <laughs> but, um, okay, that's good enough, babe. We don't have to read it out loud. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure that out when the time comes. Anyway, uh, so it's a, it's, it's going to be a great time. We're going to enjoy the crap out of it. We're going to make sh what? Huh? The poop emoji. You said crap. Oh, the crap out of it. <laughs> yeah. Oop. Poopy. His name is Poop McGee. Or Shits McGee. Poop. <laughs> Damn it. I gotta blow my nose. Let's have you talk for a second. Okay, so we are... Getting pretty excited about our trip coming up in August, and then today we had a nice time at the play. That was really cool. It was a nice experience. And then, um, yeah, and Malik, if you guys do any more plays, let us know. We'll come to your place and support you. Yeah. And um, and we'll be sure to take lots of pictures while we're in California to show everybody. Yeah, we'll take lots of pictures to show everybody. You know, for those of you that haven't been to California, like like me and your son. Yeah, it'll be cool to wake up and see palm trees. You know, um, we don't have that here in Michigan. We have plenty of trees in Michigan, but it'd be nice to see some palm trees too. I wonder if there's coconut trees. Is that in California, you guys? You know? If not, let us know about the coconut trees. If that's in Florida, or if that's in Hawaii. It's gotta be somewhere. I just don't know, so I'm asking you if you guys can message. Let me know where we can find coconut trees. Yeah, that would be cool. And, I remember when we went to South Carolina, we got this big pine pine cones from those trees. They're not that big here in Michigan. In Holland, Michigan, they're small ones. But in South Carolina, they're big ones. That's pretty cool. 
Going to hell again tomorrow and then Grand Rapids. Let us know what you're doing for summertime. You guys know what we're going to do. We're going to California in August. But what about you guys? Do you have um, plans for a trip this month, July or August? Feel free to let us know. And then maybe you guys can take pictures too and show us of your vacation. Vacation time. And let's see. And be sure to wear your favorite color. Just waiting for Ben to come back. Like so wrong. Yeah, okay, here comes Ben. He's coming back. Okay, here he is. Mm -hmm. He's coming. He's right there. I tried asking I tried asking them to let us know if they have plans this summer and to take pictures and show us their pictures. So their pictures. Oh yeah. Sorry I had to blow my nose. Um so def yeah, of course. Um what is I mean, if you're going to go, I mean, I know a couple of people I saw um, that went to Vegas, um, which I've been there as well. Um, it's in Nevada, right? Vegas. Mm -hmm. The one place that I wish I can go, and I, man, is Tombstone, Arizona. That that's good. where, that's where that movie's based off. Okay. Oh, Tombstone. Uh, yeah, the. Um, the Cowboys. No, they were police officers. Oh. Um, and they took over. Uh, because, that, you know, they, they felt like... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, because they felt that their... Uh, well, because one of them was obviously a retired cop. And... Yeah. Yeah, so it just was... Like, you know, they, they went there. They went there to, uh, to basically let people know, hey, you know what? We're here as a, basically a new start. You know, they, they took over the gambling halls, things like that. So it was definitely something that, you know, was part of history. So, you know, and of course, everybody knows. And if if you've heard of the o, the gunfight at the OK Corral, uh, that was what that movie was also based off of. Uh, so it's a very, very good movie, which I do have on DVD. Yes, DVD still exist. Uh, you can definitely buy one. You know, get a copy, and uh, watch it. I mean, well, I think. It, on one of the networks uh, network when's the last time you heard the word network <laughs> or blockbuster blockbuster video oh, blockbuster. Mm -hmm. that's a good one that's see i remember blockbuster video i remember going to blockbuster to rent videos that's yeah it holland used to have three really? um and then they had a family video too at one time yeah so blockbuster used to be where Pizza Hut is on South Washington. Uh, Blockbuster used to be next where Big B is over by AutoZone off Chicago Drive. That was a Blockbuster. Um, and the other one was on the north side on River. On um, where we got the tattoos. Oh, yeah. The building around the corner where we first started right, that right, used to be a blockbuster yeah. yep. off of lakewood boulevard area mm -hmm. that was a blockbuster uh oh and then we had um family video right here by us that closed and now it's a dollar general yeah which is very very convenient oh it is <laughs> i am it's so closer happy to, to us than what myers is 
oh yeah way closer yeah. and that's if we just need to go to get a couple things then we just family dollar yeah we just go to family or no dollar general or dollar, dollar general not family dollar i don't like family dollar okay that's a good topic what is what's what do you like better dollar general or family dollar, dollar general. or dollar tree Wait, see, and that's the thing is, I wondered if, like, the places in, there was a store in California, which we might see, if it still exists, yeah. the 99 cent store. I heard that. That used to be in Holland, too. No. Well, yeah, but not like that one. Not the California oh. one. The one that was here in Holland was up there by Hobby Lobby, yeah, 90, which is not 90, there anymore. 90, it said 99 and 98 cents. Yeah. They probably closed. I mean, they closed. Uh, but again, if you're planning a trip, or if you already went on a trip, let's see the pictures. Let's see what you guys did. See what you experienced. Because I'm gonna document everything that we do, even go bathroom breaks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. Recording myself. No, I'm wondering because wanna... I haven't been on the train yet, and is it? What we, what? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Can I say, is it a small space or a big space? For what? what sitting? That we're gonna bathrooms? Sit, what? Yeah, that we'll be sitting in these <laughs> bathrooms and um. Would you get to the point? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, how many cars are there gonna be? Not cars, it, but they're boxes or. There, you okay? Where you're sitting, it's basically like a bus, but then there's another one in front of you, and another one, and another one. So you're you're in your spot where you're sitting. Yes. But you're you're um, like in an airplane. You're next to each other. Right, and we have room to walk around when we need to get up. Yeah. It's just like a regular, like an airplane. You can get up and walk around. After. And use the bathroom, but we can't shower, right? There's no, no you got to poop where you're at. There's poops in the city. Poops. <laughs> There's so, toilets. But we won't. We won't need to take showers. There's no showers on the train, are there? I don't think so. I don't. Uh, there might be. And on the airplane, they call it coach. So is there a coach in trains? Yeah, but we don't have coach. They gave us economy. So I mean, we're gonna get the drug dealers on our. Plane. Right. I'm scared. <laughs> no. But uh, we'll be sitting with the mafia, yeah. We'll <laughs> We're gonna sit with all the gang members, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's it's a good ex it's it's fun, okay. Cool. Uh, it's gonna well, be a good experience. Gonna sleep? Like, we're gonna do the chair. I close my eyes. <laughs> no, I'm saying since we can't be on a bed, what well, do the chairs recline? I think so. I don't honestly, I don't, yeah, they do actually because I remember that. I'm um, not going to be able to elevate my legs. That's why you got the compression socks. Oh, right. I got to oh. gotta get some of those, too. Yeah. The last time I was on a train like that was uh, 2012, when I was moving back. Moving back. And then we met 2013. After exactly. Uh, I remember waking up in the middle of the night on the way back, and we were in Denver. We stopped in Denver. And then I looked up and looked over to the right, and that's where the baseball stadium for the Colorado Rockies was, or is. Wow. And uh, I was like, holy crap, we got here fast, because we left from Sacramento. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was fun. And how but, long was that for you on that train ride? Well, that time, it was only, it was three days. Oh. Um, probably because they did a lot of stops. This one's only got one stop, and that's in Chicago. Oh, for real? I think it's a straight shot to L.A. So we're on one train and then one stop to get onto another train. Yeah, in Chicago. To Chicago. From Holland to Chicago, Chicago to L.A. So, okay, so like, I don't think we're stopping anymore. I'll have to look at the tickets again. Right. But um, as far as I know, I think that's the only stop in, the, in Chicago. To okay. get on the, you know, straight, the, the train that's going straight to... Uh, LA. Yeah, and and I wonder, do the the train drivers get tired, or they alternate, alternate? <clears throat> I think it has automatic track thing. I don't remember. Not a, let but, me go up there and ask him. I'll be right back. I know, right? 
automatic or people driving it, driving the train? Oh, yeah, there's somebody up there. there. Oh, okay. I mean, there has to be because how are they going to know if another train's coming? Right. They got to. So are they did have like they a had to get people notified. to help out because it's 24 hours in a day, 12 hours. Right. So there's always somebody paying attention up there. Good. I mean, because. I mean, they got to know when another train's coming from the other direction because that's why they got where you, like, there might be a time where we're stopping because there's another train coming on the other, you know, so they can pass and we can yeah. go ahead, you know, because oh, okay. they got to pass, like, in certain areas throughout the country. Right. So, I mean, yeah, they got to be able to signal each other and call out, oh, there's another train coming. Oh, Mac, you know what would be funny, though, if we uh, were on our train and all of a sudden we look to the right and uh, stand by me, people were jumping off a bridge. <laughs> train! Remember that? Train, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, so what time is it? Oh, we got about 20 more minutes. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, summers, because we, we went to South Carolina last year. Uh, that was really cool. That was fun. That's what I was uh, telling them. I said, um, we went to South Carolina and when we got the big um, acorns from the, those trees. Remember the big? Oh, pine cones. Oh, pine cones. Pine cones. What'd you call it? Acorns. <laughs> 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 um, they, they had they had big pine cones. Yeah, they were bigger pretty. than what there's here. And actually, actually, upstairs behind, or it was behind the TV, but we, but anyway. I, uh, yeah, it's, it, South Carolina was fun. I, I used to live there too. I've lived all over the place. Um, and I, I've never actually been to Myrtle Beach. I've been in that direction. Oh, okay. But, um, that was fun. That was pretty cool. Where's our Mercedes. shark teeth that we caught? I was in Mercedes. What? Our, our shark teeth. What we got when we were. Remember we put it in that bottle i thought we did i think it's still up on that black shelf right but anyway oh so yeah uh yes uh you've been to where mercedes texas for, for two Tejas. months and we were like you five minutes like from man. the mexican border you have to say it like a mexican Mexican border no not that part. <laughs> <laughs> texas Oh, Tejas, Mercedes yes, Tejas. Tejas. You were in Mercedes Tejas. Te and then we drove with, from with... Mercedes yeah. 45 minutes to South Padre Island. That's the, that's the island I've been on before, South Padre. Yeah, I don't care for that place. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I was, that's one place, too, that I've heard that, that was pretty nice. Yeah, and on, on the island, they have a big Jesus statue. That's oh, yeah. Cool. That's right. That's where I saw that. Uh, <clears throat> but um, another place that I've been to, which I've always wanted to check out, which to me, because I'm a Michael Jackson fan, <clears throat> excuse me, was his childhood home in Gary, Indiana. Yeah, and it's probably small and not huge. No, right? it's it's not that big. I think it's like literally a bedroom. They have, they, they have a they, family. They, yeah, they were sleeping in the garage. They, they turned the garage into a bedroom. For real? Yeah, that's what I read in the article about it. Um, yeah, because they only had, how many kids did they have? Six? Six or seven? Yes. Uh, Ten? Yeah. Six. Two girls, four boys. No, they had more than two girls. <clears throat> Let's see, there's Janet, uh, LaToya. Um, shoot, that's the only girls I know. <laughs> Uh, Michael, uh, Tito, uh, Jim, Janet. Lam I already said Janet. Oh. I was naming the girls out. Oh, first. <laughs> Janet, I know. You're, you're messing okay. me up. So, Michael Jackson, Tito, of Janet. um, is there a Jamal or Jamar or something? Not Jamar. Uh, dang, I know there's another one like that. Jamar. What's that name? Oh, no, that's right. Maybe it's Lamar. No, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody help me. I don't know their names. What's the Michael Jack? What's the Jackson family name? If you can name them all, you're better than me on that one. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to cheat. You can't cheat, though. 
you can't look it up on Google. If you know it by heart, then you're better than me on that. So, but, uh, yeah, the, the Jackson family, that's, you know, but I read that they didn't live there long because they ended up later on moving to California to obviously a bigger house. Yes, yeah. Uh, and that's basically and where they then, came. once he got famous and everything, he had a house in other countries. Yeah, he did. He, um, he lived pretty much all over the world. He had a house wherever he Pretty much. Uh, like he had the Neverland Ranch. Um, that, you know, I watched an episode of a guy. I don't remember his name. But he was a, a ghost hunter. And he went to the entrance oh, of Neverland Ranch. Really? Yeah. And, you know, of course, you know, it's not being used anymore. So people are graffitiing it, writing we miss you, Michael, oh, and stuff like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so <clears throat> there's people like putting notes in the cracks of the wall. For, for him? Mm hmm Aww. And so he took some out and was reading them, and there was letter notes and stuff. He didn't say the person's name, but, but yeah, well. he uh, there was ones in there that saying that Michael Jackson's music inspired them, and there was one where the guy said, he would always listen to Michael Jackson's music and it stopped him from committing suicide. Oh, that's awesome. And so, you know, I mean, honestly, you know, all the stuff about Michael Jackson that people were saying was happening, you know, I kind of don't believe that because. But, but also Selena, oh, she was so loved too. Yeah, Selena was good. She was. But let's stay on the topic about Michael Jackson. Okay. We'll, we'll go to Selena in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> but also, anyway, so. The guy's recording, in, in you know, in, at the entrance. Yeah. And you, there's, and you can tell there's nobody else there, because he oh. even did like a three sixty shot, where he did a big circle to show he was out there by himself. Mm -hmm. And the only light that was in that area was, by the entrance, and then there was another light on the other side, like when you you know after you walk in. Okay. And. uh I remember, because you could see a light like far, uh, further in a distance, which was obviously where the road was going, the inside. Yeah. And I shit you not, but he was recording. And what happened? And you can hear. I'm not. It, if I was, I want to find that video. Yeah. And I don't know if he had anything playing in the background or whatever. Well, what did he say? But you can hear. In a soft voice. Okay. That sounded like Michael Jackson saying, hello. Really? Like, no joke. It was freaking. Even the guy freaked out because he heard it, like, in person. Well, I'd like to think that he's in heaven and he's not stuck in his house. <laughs> See, and that's another thing is back in about a couple, but maybe a year after he passed away, yeah. Uh, they were doing an interview with the sisters and brothers and stuff in the house that he passed away in. Yeah. And there was a video of, like, facing down a hallway where okay. there was a door at the end. Yeah. And you could see, like, a shadow, like, walk past. A shadow? On the other side, in that room that, they, oh. that it was focused on. So I think he's probably at that house. Instead of in heaven right now. Probably. Well, I don't know now. This was back oh. 2009. Because oh, he passed away in 2009. Okay, nine. Um, but there was another guy that I, that I watch on YouTube. Hmm. And he does ghost hunting at the cemetery where famous people are buried. Oh, okay. And he did one uh, where Marilyn Monroe's grave is. And did they hear her voice? No, but you can hear like a guy talking that wasn't even there. Because it was just him and a girl. So, I mean, crazy. So I think maybe we can do that when we're over there. Maybe we can go see Michael Jackson's body. No, no, no. no. See, we see go the see. House at least. Why does my video keep messing up? Over? Oh, 
Let me see, see his house, maybe. We've got 15 minutes. One of their houses. <laughs> uh, no, because uh, Neverland Ranch is... Oh, you know, actually, you know what? There's a spot mm -hmm. in... I'm trying to remember where it was. You know, you've heard of James Dean. That sounds familiar, yeah. James okay. Dean. There, there's a marker, like a mile mark, or I mean like a, um, it looks like, like a little side park, side, side of the road park, mm -hmm. that has a car, um, that he was driving, you know, the same car, that marks, this is where James Dean was in the car accident, where he mm -hmm. died. Yeah. It's creepy yeah. because... I mean, you know, so he could still be out there stuck. Mm -hmm. Thinking, yeah. you know, it's still 19, whatever year it was. In La Bamba, the guy that was in La Bamba. Richie Valens? Yeah. Richie Valens. That was an airplane accident, wasn't it? Where? No, that was in Wisconsin. He That crash happened in Wisconsin. North La Pointe, Wisconsin or something. Somewhere but I'm saying they... Oh yeah, it was in a plane where he died. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, and that's the thing is like you never know, because the whole Michael Jackson thing when they said they saw his spirit or the shadow. Yeah. You know they even kept replaying it and like going slow. And literally, look, it, it looked like a, like you, okay. you could even see like the hair, like his hair right here. Really? Yeah, it was. Cr I'll play it later. I can't play it right now because I don't cut the video. Okay. Uh, but it's creepy. Stuff like that. Stuff like that is weird because this other guy that I listen to on YouTube, yeah. uh, he does those spirit box things. Okay. Which I'm sure you've heard those before. Yeah, I've seen it on their show. The, the Ghost Adventures? Yeah. yeah. And Ghost Hunters does it too. But uh, he does it in his house. And sometimes I'm thinking, there's no way. And But then it's like, it makes sense on some of the stuff that, it, you know, when he asks questions. There was one, and to me it was like, I don't know, because he hasn't been, he hasn't been gone for that long, Kobe Bryant. The guy was supposedly talking to Kobe Bryant. Really? Uh, that's the thing is like to me is almost unreal. Like how, yeah, there's I'm no way. Can ask Kobe Bryant when did he leave? Well, he asked Kobe Bryant uh, something about do you how does it you know do you can you tell if you're that you're dead? Yeah, do you know if you're. And it said yeah. He said it's cold. That's what it said. It said, I'm cold. But he knew he cried. He knew he died. Uh, but that was the thing, too. And then he was like, are you with your daughter and all that stuff? And he said, yes. And so I'm like, when I mean, did his I don't... daughter, uh -huh. when did his daughter leave? Daughter was in the air helicopter with them. Oh, it all happened. One of his daughters. They to, while they were together. Yeah, they all, they crashed in the same helicopter. Because they were on their way to a basketball tournament. Hmm. And so... You don't really hear of helicopters crashing too often. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I I honestly think that it's one of those situations, again, and we've said it a thousand times. They think, you know, Kobe knew too much and maybe, uh -huh. you never know. Which is sad because he was enjoying retirement. You know, he was finally able to do stuff with his kids, you know, as normal, normal dad. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's sad. That's just, that one right there, the whole Kobe Bryant death was the biggest, biggest shock of somebody passing away since Michael Jackson. Well, I wouldn't say Michael Jackson because we, you know, we all knew, but, uh, Actually, you know what? That's probably the biggest one. The Kobe Bryant one because yeah. that one was just, I mean, when I saw it on, on my phone, I, I had to look at it three times to read that his name was correct. I was like, what the? Are you serious? 
So I looked at it again. I was like, no, no, no. There's no fucking way that Kobe Bryant died. But it was real. It but it was real. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously, you know, rest peace to him and his daughter and whoever else was on it. But it's um, it's, that's one of the ones that shocked me the most of Kobe Bryant. But, <clears throat> um, you know, like I said, he was pretty much our age. He was 42, 43, 44, or something like that. Oh, he's a heart. But that was like two or three years ago. Oh, no, so he... He's probably like 45 now. Or would have been, not 45 now. He would have been 45. But, um... They, they, so I'm only a year younger than him. I think he was born in, like, 77, maybe? Yeah, let's check that out. I think. I was born at the end of 78, and you were born in the summertime of 70, 79. Oh, he was born August 23, 1978. You know, it's weird to think that, too, because you you look at his birth date, 1978. Yes. And he's no longer with us. He's he's my age. Mm Mm-hmm. Or would have been. He was literally born eight days and a year before me. That's crazy because, I mean, and it's weird too because August 23, I think that was the number he first wore, or was it eight? I don't remember. But he's wearing 24 in that jersey. I mean, in that picture. Okay. <clears throat> what time is it? Oh, we got eight minutes left. Um, yeah, so yeah, we first started talking about, you know, how it, or not how it is, uh, Summer trips. Yeah. And then we got into the whole Colby Bryant thing. Okay, and now, now Selena. <laughs> huh? Oh, Selena. Um, so, Selena was She's definitely... from Texas. Texas, yep. Gal- or, was it Galveston? Mm-hmm. Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. I think that's where she's from. Uh, you have to say like a Hispanic. Corpus Christi. Mm-hmm. No, that's not right. Corpus Christi and Dra- No, that was dumb. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> no, but uh, it's, I mean, that was another one, you know, of course, a lot of people are still pissed off about the whole situation, but uh, what happened to Selena. But I was, I, I saw an interview, or I watched an interview of her dad talking about <clears throat> The reason why she died from that gun. Obviously, people die from gunshots. Yeah. But the reason why she died is because it hit an artery. Also, had it not hit the artery. She, she might have, you know, you never know. But uh, the thing is, is she died, you know, obviously either before she got to the hospital or in the area where she collapsed and somebody found her. Or, you know, came to her uh, because her dad was talking about how if anything ever happened to her, mm-hmm. that she didn't want blood. Like at the hospital, like, don't, you know, don't give me new blood. Oh, blood trans. Yeah, like, don't don't even do that. You know, basically, let me die. Like, don't try to save my life. She had a DNR. Basically, yeah. Because that's what the dad said in the interview. Because they were going after the dad thinking, you let Selena die because, you know, you didn't allow that to happen. Oh. But Selena told him, no, don't do that. So he it, just doing years ago. what she asked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people were bashing the dad, saying, why'd you let her die? Wait, like, minute. she got shot in an artery. And, you know... You're going to obviously bleed uh, bleed out a lot faster yeah. if it hits an artery because that's your main blood source. That's where, you know, pumps the fastest and the most. And so, I mean, unfortunately, um, she probably wasn't going to make it regardless. Um, but, you and know, the, may the she lady, rest in peace, obviously. The, late, the, the lady who did that to her, did she get prison time? Or? Oh, she's in the prison for life. She got like, I don't, 
I think she got life with parole, though. I think. With a chance of parole. But let me just double check that. Because there was an interview with her on it, too. Um, talking about how she knows what happened and didn't want to say it. Like, I, I thought to me, she was the one who did it. That's what I'm trying to say. Is she said in an interview that because the guy asked her, did you shoot Selena? She said, no, I didn't. Really? Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like. Then who shot her? She Because she said, I originally went out there to shoot myself, to kill myself. That was the whole thing. That's what she was going to do. But then it made me think like, well, then who why? shot her then? Yeah. And then why would you? What was that lady's name? Ros Rosalina? Uh, Who shot Selena? Uh, oh, you'll, wow, we were way off. <laughs> you'll land to Sal Saldivar. Uh, at a day, oh, Corpus Christi. Uh, damn, she was only 23 years old. Selena? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so she, um, You know, she basically tried to say, you know, I mean, see, here's the thing, though. I, Stalina told the cops who her killer was. Oh. Because it says right here, she slowly collapsed on the floor in a pool of blood from the bullet wound in her back. Then Selena used her last words to identify the name of her killer. Yolanda Saldivar is in room 158. Wow. She looked up at me and said, Ruben De Leon, the one that found her. Yeah. She told me her uh, and her eyes rolled back. Imagine, see, and that's the thing is, imagine being in that position. Finding, you're, you're, you're at work. And the next thing you know, you're, you're holding the body of Selena, who just got shot. Imagine that. I mean, that's just, to me, it's, it would be weird. A weird, obviously, you're going to remember that the rest of your life. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's part like, of history. That's just like um, Adriana's friend. Well, not, we won't say names. Okay. That's similar. Mm. Adriana had two friends that were driving in a car in Kalamazoo. Mm. And... Then another car tried to stop them, and mm -hmm. and if they both would have got gotten out of the car, they both would have been shot down. But instead, the girl stayed in the car. The boy who was driving got out of the car for whatever reason, and he got shot. Mm -hmm. So, oh, Sinan actually would have been fifty-two years old three days ago. 52, really? Yeah, her birthday is on April 16th. Or, but I'm saying... It's June, what am I talking about? But I'm saying... <laughs> I mean, Adriana's a couple friend, months ago. The female friend that was in the car with the male friend, he, he died, he got shot. Mm. And she, now now the girl, she's suffering from that and she, she's trying to go in hiding because it was gang members and mm. if they find her, they're going to try to hurt her too. Yeah. That's, uh, so that's why she's got to try to get out of town or get out of state, for example. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate when stuff like that happens because it's like, yeah. come on, get a life. They're just kids. Exactly. They're 20. They're 20. Yeah. That's still a kid. Yep. I, I know it's considered an adult at 20, but it's, it's a, to me. It's I mean, still a yeah, kid. exactly. But all right. Well, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. It is going to be 10 o'clock here in just one minute. Uh, we, we appreciate the viewers. We appreciate the hearts and likes. Yeah. Thank you for that. Also, if you can see down there where it says 200 stars, um, you if you want to try that, go ahead. You don't have to, but that would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, it will help, you know, benefit our show and help grow. So, again, thank you for joining. Tracy, any uh, two seconds? Okay. I said oh. two seconds. <laughs> no, you guys, be safe and be careful out there, please. Have fun, but be safe.
reducing. Yes, exactly. All right. Well, we appreciate you. We thank you again. And y'all have a good night. Again, the Juneteenth play will be on YouTube. Hopefully by either... Well, you know what? I already got it started, so I'll probably have it done tomorrow. But uh, I will post it. Send the link to Malik. The link to Malik. <laughs> that sounded weird. Link to, Malik. to Malik. And then he'll be able to disperse it to whoever wants it. Also, I got to get it to the Holland Community Theater. So we'll figure that out. All right. Well, everybody have a good night. And you all, well, we'll see you on Wednesday night. Yeah, see you Peace. Wednesday night. Peace.